Hey guys, it's time for a hair video. So I'm doing something and I'm quite nervous about it because I haven't done crochet hair in a very long time as far as like free flowing hair. So I'm a little nervous, but I was on a budget and so I went in with a plan. Well, without a plan, but with a budget. So hoping that we can figure something out. So I got this expression, Outre expression, twisted up water wave fro twist. And I got it in dragon fruit. I don't know if you can tell I'll probably have to get up um, in the sunlight once I'm done but so first of all if you have an idea put it out there before somebody else gets to it because I definitely thought of this first but um, it's in the color dragon fruit and it's like a 1B number 4 350 like there's a lot of colors in here but um, that's why I liked it so there's like some of it starts at the top, but then there's a lot of color at the bottom. And you can't see it, but there's like reds, wines, thir number 30. Like, it's very nice. So I got two of those. And then I got um, one um, two-tone 1B30. And so I'll probably spread that in somewhere as well. But I want it, I want big hair. So, I'll sh so you can see her hair like this but I want to frame it a little better with my face in the front so I don't know I braided my hair any kind of way first of all I braided my hair any kind of way but this is the braid pattern I did stuff for the side part nothing uniform and then the braids in the back are also just anything um so yeah <laughs> But the hair will be big enough where you won't see any of that. But I'm very curious on how this is going to come out. I am very curious. But I'm going to go ahead and get this get this going. And then I'll come back and show you before I cut it. Okay, I finished. It took me like two and a half hours maybe. And I just have it twisted up because it is big. Wow, it is some big hair. I'll insert a picture of how big it is. I have it in, what's this, three, six twists to kind of dial down the volume. And I just sprayed each section with water. Hella mousse. You guys have seen this before if you're not new. And I also use this uh, African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Curling Custard. So I used water, the mousse, and the curling custard to hopefully dye down some of the volume. And it looks, it looks promising so far, seeing as how small the twists are, but that could also be just cause it's condensed. I don't know. I'm hoping that it died down a lot. Um, I'll show you my hairline. I back combed and used a brush to back brush as well to kind of fuzzy out the hairline some. Um, it's not perfect, but it's, it's doable. So that's gonna be put away and I'm going to do my edges just a little bit, nothing crazy, and tie those down too while my hair is setting. And when I take it out, I will come back and show you. Okay, y'all should be proud of me because I was really about to go vibe out and do my own thing. I had put my hair up and everything. And I came back and said, I'm gonna take my hair down and do the right thing. So. I installed my hair and tried to cut it the best I know how to cut, which is not saying a lot. And I think I showed you that I twisted it up, um, thinking that it would make it condense a little bit. It didn't a whole lot, but that's okay. I still like this. So let me just show you the hairline. I did a better job on this side with the hairline and I have just been doing a mix of back brushing and combing to kind of like conceal the knots a little bit. Not too crazy. I'm not super worried about it. But yeah, that's what I've been doing to do that whole thing with concealing the knots. And let me show you it in the middle. This is the middle. 
and I really like all these colors I really do I think it's right up my alley and I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out but I just said you know what got to see it through my boy so I put them all in there and I like it it's giving me peanut butter and jelly I like it it's really cute so I think I might have to even it out a little bit let's see And this is a pretty much all the hair except like a couple little pieces. So I used all three packs of it. And um, it's not heavy at all. It is a lot of hair though, so I'm sure it's going to be hot. But it's not heavy at all. Um, I'll show you on the side. Let's see, which one did I make for a side part? I think it was this one. I think it was this one. This is the left side. And it still needs some work as far as cutting, but I'm really not good at layering like that. So I didn't want to do too much. Maybe when it's worn in a little better, I can do a better job. So that's one side, and this is the other side. This is the side I was actually wearing it on. Yeah, so this is it. It's a lot of hair. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I like it. It's cute, and I and I like big hair for my face because I have a pretty like square uh, jawline, and then my forehead is huge. But um, so I generally like hair to frame my face a little bit better. But I like it. I think it's really cute summer hair. Of course, I'm here for the afro, so. And then the back, I can, I'll be honest with you guys, the back, I did the laziest job. So I know for a fact the back is not covered properly at all. So I'm not even going to show you that. That's the look right there. So um, what else can I tell you? Um, I got, I told you I got three packs. They were $6.99 a pack. Yeah, $6.99 a pack, um, which seemed like a lot, but I also was on a budget, so that's why it seemed like a lot. And I wasn't sure if this would be enough, but this was the perfect amount. So $6.99 a pack, I got three packs. And yeah, uh, the next style, I'm going to try to do this skunk stripe uh, with some color. I don't know what color I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to do a 27, like a blonde patch, I think. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's my hair. Uh, hopefully I can keep this in for like three weeks, three or four weeks. Um, I think I want to rock cro crochet hair all summer because my hair really needs to not be out. It's not doing well out. Um, it's very dry and brittle and I feel fear that I am over manipulating it so I think I'm just gonna stick with crochet braids for the foreseeable future until it's time to get a trim um so yeah let me know what you guys think about this I've only seen videos of this hair and twists um people twisting it I haven't really seen many people wear it out in an afro so let me know what you think on how it turned out make sure you leave me a comment like and subscribe of course share if that's your sort of thing and i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next video